Hey guys, firstly thanks a ton for a pronounced response with impressive comments on my last video detailing ME engine special running conditions. So in case of any emergency, hope you can cut off a defective unit on your ME engines and approach the safe waters. If at all you have missed to watch the video, I would request you to go through the video as this would definitely add on to your knowledge. Friends, it's worth watching. The link for same is attached on your screen. In this video, I'll explain in detail the procedures to stimulate an overspeed alarm of an ME engine. Guys, as you all know, the port state control and the class surveyors sometimes demands the testing of an overspeed alarms. Also, an early alert to an engineer in case the engine speed exceeds the maximum safe limit is very important. So the period testing of an overspeed alarm of an ME engines or any other make engines is crucial to ensure that the alarm system is functioning properly. The overspeed alarm is always tested on the main engine CDP unit. Here, the telegraph model for the MAN BNW main engine remote control systems is Naptasco M800V. Prior testing of the overspeed alarm ensure the main engine is stopped with status finished with engines. Avoid performing the test with main engines running. On the main screen of the main engine CDP unit, select the test mode screen. The critical range for the upper and lower limits along with the overspeed level set point is displayed on the screen. Here you can see the overspeed limit is set at 99 rpm. Now to stimulate the overspeed alarm, select the test mode start and raise the main engine revolutions above 99 rpm. Friends, as the remote control system is in test mode, we can externally generate a signal for increase in the main engine rpm. The same signal is forwarded to the control systems to generate an overspeed alarm and activate the auto slowdown safety systems of the main engines. As the RPM range exceeds 99 RPM, the overspeed alarm followed by the main engine auto slowdown is activated and same can be seen on the alarm monitoring screen. Now to reset the alarm, select the test mode end on the CDP unit. This will exit the test mode and the control systems will be restored back to its default settings. The reset available conditions will be displayed and you can reset the cause for the alarm. Friends, it is very important to reset the alarm to bring back the main engine in standby mode. Guys, in my upcoming video, I'll describe you in detail about the simulation of the main engine crankcase oil mist high density alarm, which is also a critical alarm and needs to be tested periodically. So do stay tuned with my channel to be a better engineer on board your vessels. Thank you for watching the video. Wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.